Hello, my name is Angela and I am going to read you the story of the Nativity and it's retold by Eleanor Pasquale and it's illustrated by Sophie Windham and the book has got some beautiful pictures in it. In the little town of Nazareth, Mary was dreaming of her wedding. It seems I've been looking forward to this for so long, she said. In his workshop, Joseph smiled. My family is proud of its past, being descendants from King David. But soon, Mary will be my wife and we can be proud of our future. It is all turning out just as I hoped. Then God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth and to Mary. Peace be with you, said the angel. God has chosen you to be the mother of a baby boy, Jesus. He will be known as God's son. He will be God's chosen king, greater than King David of ancient times, and his kingdom will go on forever. Mary listened in awe. How can I be a mother? I'm not even married yet, she said. All this can happen because of God replied the angel. Then may what you have said come true, said Mary. <clears throat> when Joseph heard that Mary was expecting a baby, he was dismayed. An angel spoke to him in a dream. Take Mary as your wife, said the angel. Her child is God's son. Through him, God will bless the whole world. Joseph awoke in good heart regarding his marriage, only to hear news that made everybody downhearted. Everybody must go to their hometown to register as taxpayers by order of the emperor. Joseph made a plan. He hurried to find Mary. We will go together to my hometown, he said. Bethlehem, where King David was born hundreds of years ago. There we will register as a family. It was all agreed. Amid great excitement, Mary and Joseph set off together. And there's a lovely picture of Mary on the donkey with all her luggage tied on behind. They were not the only ones making a journey to register their names. When Mary and Joseph reached Bethlehem, the town was crowded. There was no room for guests anywhere. The only place they found anywhere to shelter was where an ox munched and a donkey stamped and shuffled. There, in the night, Mary's baby was born. She wrapped the baby in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. <clears throat> On the hillsides, that sloped away from the town, shepherds were awake, taking care of their flocks, alert to danger, thieves perhaps, or wild animals. An angel appeared. Good news, cried the angel. Joy to all the world. Tonight in King David's city, your saviour has been born, a new king, God's chosen king. 
Go to Bethlehem. See for yourselves. The child is wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. All at once, the night sky was bright. A thousand, thousand angels, all singing. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all men. As swiftly as they had come, the angels vanished into heaven. Awestruck and astonished, the shepherds left their sheep. They hurried to Bethlehem and searched the dark streets until they came to the stable. There, in the lamplight, were Joseph and Mary and a newborn baby, just as the angel had said. Mary listened wild-eyed as their story, treasuring at uh, their story, treasuring every word. In nearby Jerusalem, Herod ruled the land on behalf of the emperor. When foreigners came to the city with this troubling news, he demanded to see them. You say a star has led you here, he said. You say it is a sign that a king has been born to my people, even though I am the appointed ruler. <clears throat> he leaned closer. My advisers tell me that one day God's chosen king will be born in Bethlehem. Go, see if you can find the child. If you do, come and tell me. He furrowed his brow. I will need to go and worship him too. The foreigners set out. There was the star they had followed for so many miles, shining on the road to Bethlehem, and finally stopping low over one particular house. They went inside and found Mary and her baby son. The newborn king, they exclaimed. We have come to worship him. And respectfully, they brought out their gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. We will not go and tell Herod about this child, they agreed. Did we not hear an angel warning us in our dreams? That man fears a rival. He will seek to harm him. An angel also spoke to Joseph. Hurry, King Herod has heard rumours of a newborn king and will be looking for the child. Take Mary and Jesus to Egypt and stay there until it's safe. Jesus was no longer a baby when the time came for Mary and Joseph to return to Nazareth. There he grew up with the other children, every year taller and every year wiser. Such a good son, everybody said. What a blessing to his family. Only heaven knew how soon Jesus would bring a greater blessing to all the world. 